Hi, welcome to my first YouTube video. I'm Christina Bianchi and I'm just gonna do my makeup and tell you a bit about myself. My friend sent me questions to like answer for this and she asked me what's the worst movie I've ever seen. And the worst movie I have ever seen, it's called like Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. <laughs> this is the worst movie I've ever seen. So like basically there's these Martian children and they're watching American television and they either like want to have fun or want to have Christmas. So the Martians decide to kidnap Santa Claus. <laughs> Oh, this would be so terrible. Like, I don't understand how this movie was allowed to be made. Like, it's honestly the worst video, the worst movie I've ever seen. Like, I couldn't even sit through it. I just laughed at the idea and then went back to my room. Because if anyone would sit through that garbage, I applaud you. But it's the worst thing in the whole world. But my friend also asked me to ask the best movie of like 2019. Honestly, I haven't seen half the movies in 2019. Like I don't think I've been to the movie theater at all in 2019. And if I did go, it would probably be Endgame. But I still haven't seen Endgame. And I'm probably not going to see it for a while until it comes out for a rental. I already know half the spoilers. Because the internet, it can be like that. You can't escape it. Me forgetting how to do my makeup for 10 seconds long. Okay. Concealer. That's what we're doing. Okay, my friend also asked me what my favorite drugstore makeup brand is. And it's honestly and always whoever will be Maybelline they make really good makeup for my skin tone I have a yellow undertone in my skin tone and a lot of times I cannot find makeup if it's completely my shade usually it's all red I'm very yellow and I was able to match my shade in the drugstore with a BB cream I got from Bare Minerals, which is like my first nice makeup product. Like I used to have the whole Maybelline Fit Me collection, including the powder foundations, the concealer, and I still have the setting spray. I have a matte foundation that I just used. But I no longer use the concealers because obviously I traded it out for Tarte's Shape Tape, which is probably my favorite thing in the whole world because the darkness under my eyes is so bad. Probably due to me not sleeping, but also probably due to me wearing goggles for so many years because I swam for 10 years. A lot of people, if they ever do watch this, are wondering why would you start a YouTube channel? I'll be like, one, my friend jokingly commented under one of my posts on Instagram, when are you going to start a YouTube channel and show us all these makeup tips? And I was like, honestly, I don't even have that many makeup skills. I just do what I need to do to look decent. So I was like, why don't I make a YouTube video? showing everyone how I do this and it's like it's the easiest thing in the whole world <laughs> it's like I don't do much anyway because I don't wear makeup too often but when I do I just usually follow the steps of every content creator that has ever been on YouTube ever some basic tips it's like most of makeup is just figuring out what you need to put on your face and then figuring out what look you want to do whether it be an artistic look or just something that you want to wear it on a day-to-day -day basis. My best friend asked me to do a question based around fast food and what everyone's favorite fast food restaurant is. First she asked me mine, which honestly I don't think I can answer that question because I haven't had 
fast food casually in a long time. Like where it's just like, oh yes, we're gonna eat here for almost every meal. I have no idea what my favorite fast food restaurant is. If I had to go with one, like primarily pick one, maybe I would pick Zaxby's because it's good chicken, but the fries are really what does it. Like no one else has better fries. Like no one can really compete with Zaxby's. It's like if anyone's out there being like Chick-fil-A can, I'll be like, no they can't. Those fries don't have any seasoning and they get soggy really quick. Yeah, I said it. They may have cool places to dip your ketchup, but they are not that great. Especially because one of my friends is allergic to peanuts and they use peanut oil in all their cooking so she can't even go to Chick-fil-A. There are a bunch of fast food restaurants that everyone loves that I haven't tried. Primarily because I live on the East Coast and we don't have a lot of the ones that are on the West Coast. I also live in the South so there's also that issue. You may not necessarily have everything that's up yours. Right now I'm using the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I'm using the orange, the bright orange in here called Baja. Most of my looks include orange because I'm darker skinned and it looks a lot better on me than other colors. Who doesn't love a sun-kissed moment? She's going through a very blown out look all over the lids. It's easy to do, easy to blend. Takes very little effort and very little time. Now I'm going to be taking the shade Ignite and putting it all over Baja with a packing brush. I'm going to keep it below the crease because this is what I prefer. Another question I can answer while I'm doing this is with my favorite clothing brand. Now, I do love to go shopping considering that the mall is way too close to my house. But my favorite clothing brand has always been H&M for multiple reasons. One, I'm quite short so they tend to do clothes that fit me in a size that makes sense where the arms and the sleeves aren't too long, the pants aren't too long. This fit my giant slimmer shoulders that I've had for a long time without me looking like I'm drowning in the clothing item. They sell my bikini size in the store. Like that is even better because I tend to find, have a hard time finding tops for bikinis, so the fact that H&M just has them in store and I don't have to go out of my way and shop for them online is kind of incredible. But that being said, I also have to compete with everyone else who's shopping to see if there's any of my size left. A close second though for probably my favorite clothing brand would be American Eagle. It's like their clothes are very nice and nice quality. I tend to go on my jeans there because they have like every size and length. The only issue I have with them is that it's expensive. It's very expensive. I and mean, you're getting what you're paying for, but it's it's heavy. <laughs> Especially when you're broke like everyone. <laughs> Coming out of high school. That's probably not good, but I can't get it less at this moment in time. Okay, that was harsh. Let's do some feeling. 
with some ear spun setting powder. Have to be careful so I don't end up looking like Flashback Mary. We don't want that. A lot of times I do set under my eyes, but I'm not going to do that today because the skin has been very dry. We're not trying to be crusty, we're really not. Okay, another question my friend asked me was what my favorite swimsuit style was. Honestly, because I mentioned I have been swimming for most of my life, 10 years of it that my favorite style will always be the one piece. It's the easiest to wear, plus you can get cute ones from anywhere. A lot of people be like, they don't sell nice one pieces. Like not in stores, usually you have to actually get them from like swim places, like swim outlet, which is like a cheap place to get athletic swimsuits. Like I have a very broad swimsuit collection because I was that kid who was always like, I want a new practice suit. And I would always get them from grab bags at Swim Alley because they were so cheap and you would actually get some good ones sometimes. Like the best one I got from a grab bag was like a gray, white, and black Nike suit, which is not always what you get. You can get sporty, speedo, whatever, TYR, like arena. You can get all those swimsuits and some are good. But sometimes the designs are so ugly and you just don't want them so you're just like I feel good that I actually got a good grab bag because it was one of my favorite suits and it still is like I still have this swimsuit but I'm also that girl who does not really wash her swimsuits you don't wash them in the washing machine if you're a swimmer and you wash your swimsuits in the washing machine what's wrong with you you hand wash those you hang them up to dry you do not put them in the dryer you do not put them in the washing machine you'll ruin your suits they last longer if you just like hand wash them trust me oh my god the amount of people i saw like think i have to go throw my suit in the wash i'm like what are you doing it's like it's not as bad until they're just like i put it in the dryer and like don't This highlighter though, this highlighter, the Milani highlighter, if you do not own this highlighter, you should get it. It's really cheap, it's really good, and there's a lot of product in the case. I'm going to use a hand brush to do under my eyebrows. wonder why I'm doing my eyebrows last. Well that's because I sometimes don't do my eyebrows. You might be like, that's a crime against humanity. I'm like, my eyebrows are so thick, sometimes filling them in becomes a crime against humanity. No one wants James Charles's old eyebrows. And that's what mine sometimes just look like because they're just so full. Like they already look filled if I just brush them into place. Fill them in a bit. And just to make sure they don't look white due to any powder I've been using.
you see what I mean why there's kind of no point in filling them in. I love the color just gets lost in there. finished with my brows and the last thing is mascara. I have always used this mascara, this Maybelline Lash Sensational, because let's be real, I'm not spending money on any high-end mascara because it all works about the same. And that's just not what we're trying to do. I'm not gonna wear any um, lashes or eyeliner like I've done in the past with this look. This is actually the most common look I have worn all the time. Most of the pictures that you see on my Instagram will be with this look. But I can't be bothered to try to deal with lash glue. A lot of times that stuff gets stuck in my eyelashes is nuts, especially because my lashes naturally curl upwards. Like right here, they don't look very long until I do that. And I'm not trying to like, torture myself trying to get lash glue out of them again. Because my lash line this is like, uh, no sis. <laughs> like this lash is going to go somewhere you don't want it to go. I'm actually going to go back and add some more shadow under my eyes and my bottom line. No, this is not what this brush is for. Now let's be getting closer without getting this all over the place. We love it when my camera stops recording and you don't get to see the end of the look. Well, all I did after that was I put on lip gloss, a clear lip gloss. Like, this is the look now. This is the same night. This is editing Christina. Edison, editing Christina is not happy right now. Like, I'm so mad because I'm like, you couldn't have given me a warning, Lumex. You couldn't have given me a warning, Mr. Panasonic. No. No. Well, that's the end of the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching that random blabbery blubberiness. That is my first YouTube video.